On this video, we are going to work on the difference between media luna and molinete during heroes. Also, we are going to give you a few tips to improve each one of them. If you are enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe with notifications. If you have any question, put it on the comments below. So now, let's jump into the dance floor and let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, let us show you the media luna move. Side step, back side, front, back side, front. Good. If you notice, we are doing very square moves. So he's sending me back with my left, side with the right, front with my left, again, back side and front. I feel the lead from the step he's doing. Now I feel the lead to go to the side when he's pulling. And we are facing each other, connecting for the front step. This is very, very, very square. Back side. Again, I feel the lead from his right shoulder to make the front step. So notice uh, for the followers first, how I'm doing this very much in, lean, in line, linear. So I go back, side, front. I can do an amage, back, side, front. So, so now also for the leader, we are going to, the difference, of course, is that when in this media luna, we are going to send her in a square, like Miriam was mentioning, but that, we, that first step will come from our center, boom, with our step, yes? So if we come back, we'll be led from our center. Boom. Yes, if I come back here, once we have that line, later we are going to start pulling for her side step, which is not in circle, it's in line. One side. If you notice, I'm displacing a little bit my rib cage to the side to create a line for her. From here, we can step very, very much in line back. At we are one thing that we are not doing is trying to rotate her. We are going to keep her very, very much in line in front of us. Good. Now let's show them Molinete during Hero. All right. It's very simple and just a few steps. We have a side step. He's pulling for me to rotate, to go back, side, front. And we finish. If he does this one more time, back side, front, and we finish here. In this case, when I have to make my back step with the left, I feel the rotation from his upper body. In this case, he's moving the upper body, and I follow that on my first step, on my back step. So I'm making a circle around him, and go side, front, and in this case, it's fit together. Let's show you this in slow motion one more time. I'm feeling him going around, so I follow that with my back step. Side, front, he's still pulling, and we go up for the feet together. For the leader, it is very, very important to mark the axis. We are the axis in this case. And two things, we are pulling from the shoulder blade, not from your hand. Sometimes we said, oh, well, she feels the, the lead from the hand, but actually the connection, of course, it is on the hand, but the actual lead comes from the shoulder blade. Yes, she will offer a little bit of resistance. If we do this, we are doing, for example, I'm just putting the right leg tapping so I can rotate and we can focus very much on the axis. Tip number one, I will do only one step and rewind. Tuck, if you notice, I'm using my shoulder blade, not my hand or my elbow. So I'm opening the door. Another tip here is that the intention of our torso and of, in our face as, as well, goes in the direction that we are leading. Yes. So secondly, is that our left leg will be the center. Make sure when we rotate, you don't shift your axis. Try to keep it very, very much on the left. Back, side, front, then you can keep rotating to continue with another figure.
Now, let us show you in detail the difference between one move and the other and my back step get different direction from the lead, of course. So if we do the first one, I'm making the left leg go straight back. Now, let's do the second one on giro. I'm rotating and the left leg goes back in a circle around the leader. One more time, this is the difference between one and the other. One is straight. Again, the second one. Wait for the pull and I go around. Now we're going to show you a common step, just to show you the difference between the linear move and the circular. Good. Yes, so now we go to the side, circle, ocho, and back, side, front, and feet together. Let's go one more time in slow motion. We have two ochos, and here is the moment. I'm feeling this from the shoulder that he wants me to go around, around, so I keep the circle. I go to the side and to the front to finish the move. Now, what happens if I confuse the lead and I do the linear instead of going around? Let us show you. This is wrong. Don't do it. But this is a common mistake yes. for followers. And because also sometimes the leaders are not pulling up. So if he does the same move, if I don't feel the pulling or I don't follow the pulling, my back step is not going to be around and I'm going to be a outside the step, going out of the circle. So I'm going to make a back step. If we keep going, look, I'm pulling the leader, pulling him, right? I'm pulling you, Yes, right? very, very much. I'm trying that to. It's hard to get back to the circle. So this is one of the moments. Let's show mm -hmm. them in the different angle. Yeah. So we do side. This is wrong. I'm not respecting the lead or I don't feel the lead. So I go back. So I'm apart from him. Now, correct one will be circle and keep going for the rest. So it's a big difference from both sides. Leader, you yes. have that lead from? From the shoulder blade, very, very much. That, that lead has to be very, very clear that we want her to go around us and not apart. And followers, be aware of that. If she's pulling, means circle. If he gives the uh, square upper body, it means we go in line back. Okay, so this is very different one and the other. I hope you enjoy it and understand. If you have any questions, please write it on the comment below and we'll do our best to answer all of them. Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.